in order to perform uh, validation of data sets and to pick up the best performing uh, group okay from a given data set we have a method called cross validation so as the name implies it is validating the data sets by itself right so the understanding it is very easy so assume that you have a training set okay so having uh, for example i have taken uh, 12 rows indexed with 0 to 11 Uh, the cross validation will be given uh, by means of number of folds okay let's say if it is three fold it means the entire data set has to be divided into three partitions right so folds represents the number of partitions as simple as that now i have divided and i have shown you like first uh, four columns will stand for the first fold second fold and then third fold okay having done that the next step is to go for validation okay now uh, this uh, fold which we have marked in yellow color will be separated as testing data set and the rest will be used for training okay so next is this the results of this will be taken as the first uh, cycle results second the marked with this yellow color will be taken for testing and the rest will go for training okay and again the results of this will be taken for second cycle third again the same thing and the results will be taken for third cycle right now that what we did we try to make all the rows to behave both as a training set data set as well as as a testing data set okay so by means of that we try or we try to improve the correctness of the data set or the fitted model and how to obtain the actual average it is by taking the cumulative average of all folds okay so by using the results of uh, these three folds okay in general it will be k fold it you can go to a maximum of 10 as research says uh, by taking the results of all three folds you can do any kind of analysis like you can pick up the best performing circle sometimes it is like uh, the training the some of the training errors may be very minimal and uh, accordingly the testing errors will also be very minimal so you can use those set of data for training or else if you want to make validation of the data set alone the total accuracy holds to cumulative average of all the folds right so now how to pick up this k that's the next question right in general k is equal to that is uh, if you want to do the validation on all the individual experiences separately k is equal to n okay where n is the number of experience that is one method but uh, it's not being mostly used because uh, it will consume more amount of time and that is not at all required okay So next is k could be 5 or 10 that is by research k could actually go for a value of 5 or 10 uh, with that yields best results in most of the cases third uh, methodology is k could be m where m confirms representative experience of the data set mean you try to identify how many experiences are Uh, I'll tell you a small example. In COVID-19, let us say the experiences are taken from three different areas, different areas. Okay, so K should be equal to M because the three areas has to be covered. Those three are the representative data sets that we need to understand. Okay, so similar to that, any data set given to you, depending on uh, the that is by analyzing the data set, we can come to know what could be the value of M. then if you confirm with that it means you go for stratified sampling okay stratified sampling means again the same thing you should make sure that all the stratified folding uh, asserts the fact that a representative sample is available in all the data sets again or all the folds again okay uh, so it means that uh, if you have a categorical output variable and if you have three variables okay so in all the divisions that you provide all the three variables should present equally so that's the meaning of strat stratified folding hope you can understand it is like if you if the output variable falls into three class labels when you try to divide the folds or the data set into k number of folds all the k folds should have these three class labels present in there okay you should not create a fold in such a way that class label a falls into first uh, training set class label 2 falls into the uh, testing set okay which will create a okay? so that's about cross validation which you can perform on the data set coming to the implementation part of uh, cross validation 
uh, in sklearn.model selection package we have a sub package called cross underscore val underscore score okay now uh, again this so to that we are passing the fitted model what is a fitted model it is a regress the name of the fitted model uh, here okay so regress is the name of the model that we have fitted okay so to that we are passing this as the first parameter between which of the columns that we need to perform data file of year placement okay it's a simple linear regression that's why cross fold number of folds how many you want to have five what is the scoring mechanism like this cross validation supports multiple uh, metrics like uh, yeah, accuracy confusion matrix f1 score so many other things we are going to use r2 since it is a uh, prediction algorithm right just if you print you can see five different accuracies have been arrived at so the cumulative of all these things that is the mean of all these things can be taken up as the average accuracy of the algorithm